Hi, this is Ben from Literature Review HQ and welcome to part of a video series in which I'm explaining about some of the features of my favourite mind mapping software which is iMindMap. Um, you can download a trial of this at, one of, at my own link which is www.literaturereviewhq.com forward slash iMindMap. So, um, for the next few minutes, I'm just going to explain a little bit about customization of your mind map. So, I've already explained in previous previous videos, which you'll be able to find um, at my YouTube channel, about how to get started and how to set up your mind map, and, and this is what I've drawn here. But once you've drawn a few branches, it may be that you want to customize it a little bit. Um, and that's very, very easy to do. I mean, the whole interface is very, very intuitive. So if you select a branch that you want to change, um, it's called theme one there, but if I wanted to overwrite that, I don't have to click anything, I just have to start typing, um, and it'll automatically change it. So I want to call that theme six, and just click away, and it's already changed. If I just wanted to edit a smaller part, if I just double click on the writing itself, then I can go and edit just a little bit of that instead of overwriting the whole thing and rewriting it. I demonstrated before on how to change the colours which is also very easy. You just um, select the branch and basically all the controls for the branch are up here in this section. So to change the colour I click here you can see there's a wide range of of colours to choose from. These are swatches which are probably the easiest to use. You just pick a colour that you like and, and, and away you go. But then there's also these two other tabs which give you a little bit more control of uh, exactly which colours to use um, and it helps you match up exactly if you wanted to, to do this for some kind of design. So I'll change the colour, I'll change this to a nice bright green. I'll click OK and you can see that it's changed. Now you can also change the font of the 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 writing on on there. Uh, so I can change that. You can see it's changed. It's only changed on this branch. You can change the size. You can see that's made it a lot bigger there. And you can make it bold and or italic. Not only that, you can change the text color. So it's exactly the same as for the branch, but you can change the color of the text. As you can see. Um, what else can you do? Well you can change the position of the text on the branch. Now this will probably be easier to show you with a different branch. I'll move over to theme one. And you can see uh, this bit selected here, this is kind of darker grey. And this shows that the text will be aligned to the end of the branch, which is probably better. Uh, it's probably the best way to do it. But you could also have it aligned to the other end of the branch closest to the, the root. So, you could have it aligned to the middle of the branch, like that, or if you wanted, you could also have it aligned equally along the length of the branch, like that. But actually, I, I normally just leave it aligned to the, the end of the branch, um, which seems, seems the most sensible way of doing it. Okay, thanks very much for, for, for listening. Um, if you want to get your get your free trial um, of the beta, well, you get your basic version of this, which is absolutely free anyway. But if you download the basic version, you get an automatic free trial of the three other versions, which are uh, which are different prices. Uh, if you want that, go to my link um, from my website, which is www.literaturereviewhq.com forward slash imindmap. Thanks very much.